Hey everybody, it's Track King Racing. Just uh, another update here. Uh, we should be getting into our base tune, idle tune, startup tune uh, tonight or tomorrow night. And I just wanted to give everyone kind of a, a rundown of what I've managed to do with the uh, electrical system, which is kind of a, a big fault that I had when I originally first started building this car, is that I just wasn't very uh, wiring savvy. Um, and I'm still not fantastic, but I've learned quite a lot thanks to YouTube and uh, a few other people on Instagram and uh, personal friends that I've used as resources. But so let me show you a few things I've done wiring wise, a few things that will help me out and uh, maybe they'll help out some other people as well. So uh, one of the first things that was uh, a, a big deal with getting this new setup complete was utilizing a relay and fuse setup. So what I've done is, is I've cleverly kind of hidden it here behind the uh, stock glove box. So what you see is you've got the relays up top here. You've got the fuses over on the side, and then you've got one main power in from the battery and one main ground out from the battery. That just allows you to be able to hook up a lot of grounds, a lot of powers, and everything be centralized um, and very organized. It also allows all of your accessories to, to come in, be relayed, and fused all in the same place all of your power, all of your grounds run to the same place and it makes it a heck load of a lot easier. Um, this is honestly one of those things that I would have never tackled. I mean, ever, ever, ever tackled, but a lot of awesome people on YouTube, um, had documented what they have done and I kind of just put it together from there. It's, it's on a, uh, a piece of HDPE sheet behind there. That's what everything's bolted to. And then I just managed to screw it in behind there to some, uh, to some structures and, and support it. And uh, it worked out really fantastic. I'm very happy with the way that it came out. Are there things that I would still improve on it? Yes, but uh, I, I'm stoked that I was actually able to do this because it, it seemed pretty beyond my means. Uh, honestly, if you ever get to a point like that with something with your car, just more and more research, talk to people, feel comfortable with it. And, and once you feel comfortable with it, then start to exploring with it and you'll get to this point. Just remember, failure is a part of the process. And if you're not willing to get on board with some failure, then... Uh, probably shouldn't be modifying a car to begin with. But either way, other than this, one of the bigger things that I've done with all of the uh, wiring is loom it all up. Um, and I was used to these really old school accordion style looms. And I just recently got hip to this awesome stuff that Vibrant makes, which is a much easier way of looming your wires. They have multiple different sizes. Um, it doesn't scratch metals, which is nice. Uh, unlike that accordion stuff, it makes its way through uh, spaces much easier. And it's also easier to, to get the loom wires done. And you'll notice most of the wires under here are loomed. I've got looms on both sides running front to back. All of the stuff in the back here is loomed. Everything over on the ECU side or the majority of it is loomed. And then I even did uh, a lot of relooming of the stock wires um, with this vibrant looming as well. You can see it. And I've got it on the... Uh, coil plugs as well. You'll also notice that uh, another interesting thing that I found to be super useful is this uh, liquid um, liquid electrical tape. Um, if you're not using it, it is pretty cool. I kind of used it to help seal off some of the ends. Um, they're not perfect. You can put a little heat to them and they kind of shrivel up, which is nice. And then if you throw a little bit of that electrical um, uh, le liquid electrical tape on there, um, it really helps keep them in place. Uh, that might be things that people are already doing and like, uh, duh, you know, but for me, it was a learning process to kind of figure that out. One of the other big things that I did with all of the wires that have been used in the build are, let's see if I can find them real quick. These bad boys right here. If you haven't ever seen these bad boys, you need to get on them. You can find them being advertised a lot now on Instagram, uh, YouTube, and Facebook. But these little uh, solder on, heat shrink, and waterproof tubes are absolutely amazing. I bought this kit on Amazon. You can buy tons of them on there, and they work freaking amazing. Every single uh, wire that I had ever heat shrinked or crimped before, I redid uh, with those, and it came out amazing. Uh, every now and then, I'd still heat shrink them to make them look a little bit nicer, uh, keep the conformity in black. But other than that, they worked perfectly. Um, one of the other big changes that I've done electrically is add this center panel right here. So Joe's Racing makes these sweet little um, 
uh, flip buttons uh, set up and uh, starter set up. And I absolutely love them. I'm kind of old school. That's why I went with the uh, kind of older school white faced gauges up on top. And I also just love the feel of a good switch. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I put those in there. Uh, these are all set up. The ignition set up for the ignition. The start button's uh, not completely set up yet. In fact, if anyone has any uh, keen ideas on how to get the starter set up, I'm pretty sure that I have the right wires, um, but I don't have them fully uh, hooked up yet. Otherwise, we've got fuel pump right here. Now running the AEM 340, which is great for E85, so I'm excited to go down that road. On this first one down here, I've got all of the uh, gauges. Gauges and the boost controller set up through that switch. On this one right here, this is actually the water pump, which I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but it's it's pumping some serious water. On this third one, you can see that I actually shared the light from the second one because this is a uh, negative grounded switch, and this one is actually set to um, turn on manually the uh, radiator fans, um, which is also hooked up to my front heat condenser fan as well. And then the last one right here is the dual fan setup for the lid. I've got midship racing uh, dual fan for my engine lid. I've modified it a bit to work um, just straight off the switch on hot, hot days on the track or long travel days where I'm not getting a lot of uh, speed up. It'll help evacuate a lot of things out of the, uh, out of the engine lid. So. so there you go. That's what I've updated as far as the electrical systems are concerned. I mean, I'm, again, pretty proud with how clean everything turned out. Um, it takes a lot of patience and it does take a lot of work. And maybe that's why I was initially pretty scared with doing the whole setup. But end result, very happy with it. Uh, I'm confident that everything worked out really, really well. Um, as you can see, I've just got my fans laying back there. That's, that's not going to be like that. Um, it's just because I have the lid off. And then kind of the, the final little coup de gras here is uh, having the Monsoon Link ECU now set up. I'm also using a boom slang jumper harness, which allows me to get away with having a full body uh, not having a full body harness and using a lot of the stock uh, ECU wiring and uh, functions as well. So, so yeah, I'm all set up. I'm happy. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start this thing up. I'm ready to hear it again. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. confident in how mm -hmm. I've set everything up. So now it's just time to uh, get it tuned, get it on a dyno, and then start driving it again. Um, as always, I appreciate everyone's support. Um, it's an amazing process. Uh, you got to be ready for a lot of failure, but uh, I think that's the exciting part. So uh, we're ready for some success. I'll make sure to have a, a startup video posted soon. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll even start doing some videos. Ooh on this AW11 we have over here because soon all this stuff ooh is going to go into that. So soon we'll have two 2ZZ MR2s, one 2ZZ GTE in this one, and the other one we're going to do an ITB 2ZZ NA setup on this one. So exciting times, exciting times, but first let's get this bad boy running and get it back on the road. Thanks again for all the support. Hope everyone has an awesome day. Keep on working on those cars. If you've got a project car in the garage you haven't turned a wrench on in a while, uh, get out there. Get on it. Uh, start making that dream happen.